Good morning, sweetheart. Uh, this has to go to the cleaners. I had a lot to tell you last night, but you'd already gone to bed. How is that sofa for sleeping? <laughs> Breakfast is ready. That looks delicious. Uh, any butter? If not, uh, don't uh, bother. <laughs> you know, if, if I didn't know better, I'd think this was last night's. Uh, but uh, that's a great way to economize, Sam. <laughs> Sam. No matter what your mother told you, that was a business dinner, and I didn't lie to you. Now, I just didn't want you to get all worked up over nothing, that's all. <laughs> Son, you're getting all worked up over nothing. It was old Larry's idea. It, he's dying to get Sheila's father's account to replace the Webley account. And uh, we were supposed to have dinner with uh, old man Summers last night, but uh, Sheila showed up alone, and then Larry, well, a wise guy, he went off and left. Well, I just called him, and I told him what I thought of him. What's more, I informed him that you and I were not going to show up at Sheila's dinner party tonight. She invited us? Yeah, uh, so that Larry and I could uh, meet with old man Summers. Uh, well, Darren, I don't blame you for being annoyed with Larry, but do you think it's fair to run out on him now? In spades. I don't like the whole thing. I'd much rather pitch my new concept at Webley Foods than subject you to any of Sheila's little games. But, yeah, but you see, Darren, that's just the point. If we don't show up, that's, that's an admission that I'm afraid to face her. Well, actually, I think she's rather interesting. In a creepy sort of way. <laughs> You're wrong. I don't hate her at all. Sam, you know that's a lie. It is not. Well, but I'll admit it's not the whole truth either. <laughs> Of gravy is this so I can tell the cleaner. 